In this video, we're going to learn how to use the string ends with method in Python. So we can use the ends with method to check if a string ends with another string. So for example, if we have the string Carol Shaw, we could check if this string ends with Shaw. So here we could have print and then string dot ends with, and we'll pass it the string Shaw as an argument. So this method is going to check if this string ends with this string. It's going to return true if it does and false if it doesn't. We can save a program and test it out. And we get true because this string does end with SHA. If we had something that the string did not end with, like for example, Carol here, then the ends with method will return false. So we can save our program and test this out and we get back false. If we put the entire string here as an argument, Carol Shaw, even though it may seem a bit odd to do this, the method will return true because technically the string does end with Carol Shaw. We can save our program and try it out. And we do get back true here. Now the ends with method has two optional arguments. One is the start index at which to begin the search. The other is the end index at which to stop the search. So each character in this string is at a particular index. So for example, this first capital C character here is at the index zero. The next character is at index one and so on with the rest of the characters in the string. We can specify a start index at which to begin the search. So for example, if we specify a start index of four, the search will begin here. So here we could have a search for Shaw again, but this time we'll specify a start index. We'll have four here. So we're going to search from the index four onwards to see if that string ends with Shaw. We can save our program and try it out and we get true. If however, we begin the search at the index seven, we would get back false because this string here does not end with Shaw. Let's try that. Here we could have seven as the start index. And if we save our program and run it, we now get back false. We can also optionally supply as an argument to the ends with method an end index. And the search will occur up to, but not including that end index. So for example, if we wanted to search for Shaw from the indexes six to nine, we could have here six as the start index and then 10 as the end index. And we have 10 as the end index instead of nine because the search will occur up to, but not including that end index. So if we want to see if the string from the index six until nine ends with the string Shaw, we would actually pass six as the start index and 10 as the end index. So we can save our program and try it out and we do get true back. Now, when we supply a start and end index, what we're checking for is if the string bounded by these indexes ends with this string here. So for example, if we had here capital S and then lowercase h, and we change the indexes to let's say six and eight. So we'll have six as the start index and eight as the end index. This is going to check to see if the string between the indexes six and eight ends with capital S and lowercase h. And here, the string between the indexes six and eight does end with those characters. It's actually exactly those characters. So we can save our program and try it out and we get true. We could change this to h, just lowercase h, and we'll also get back true because the string bounded by six and eight does end with lowercase h. So if we save our program and try this out, we'll also get back true. Now, instead of supplying a string as the first argument to ends with, we could also supply a tuple. And if the string ends with any of the strings in the tuple, the method will return true. So for example, we could have here as an argument, the tuple with two strings, Shaw 
and Smith. And we can save our program and try it out. And we get back true because the string does end with SHA, which is one of the strings in the tuple. If the string did end with Smith, we'll also get back true because Smith is also a string in the tuple here. So we can save our program and try it out. And again, we get back true. Only if nothing in the tuple was a match would we get back false. So for example, if we replace Smith with bad and save the program and ran it, then we would get back false. So this is how we can use the string ends with method in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.